What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2022-23 Topps Finest UEFA Hobby Box. These dropped on the Topps website for 170 bucks, and you can also buy full cases of these which you rarely see directly on the site and you'll probably realize why they did that later on in the video but yeah we're here to show you guys what these are about so stick around to the end to see what the rating this set gets but let's get right into it guys if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already it really helps out the channel and it really really helps us grow and it helps us put more content out there like this for you guys so let's get these two mini boxes out so yeah 12 by 5 let's put this guy 12 by 5 format 60 cards total uh per master box basically uh six by five format oh, what is this all right uh six by five format uh 30 cards in each mini box and we are expecting to see four numbered cards per master box uh plus uh one auto in each and the numbered cards seem to be pretty imbalanced in terms of mini boxes from what i've seen at least like so many boxes will uh have like three numbered cards and then so many boxes will have like one to two in the same master box so some will have more numbered cards than others so i don't know just be careful when you're buying mini boxes rather than an entire master box but um in terms of case hits you're looking at the man which you know is a pretty cool insert in my opinion especially with the whole like texture on it and stuff but uh yeah they made it a semi case hit in these for whatever reason compared to the actual case hits that we saw in like the bundesliga finest set and then we have the signature prize football or fusion variations uh, as regular case hits. So let's get into this first box right here. And of course, Tops did not uh, grace us with any odds on the box itself. What they did, uh, they did put them online this time. So we, we've been waiting for like, I don't know, three to four sets that didn't have any odds in it. We we're like, wow, stop's so just gonna like keep doing this forever. So um that is not the case, fortunately. So let's see what these cards look like, and then we'll get into the odds here in a sec. So uh, look at that design. So definitely better in my opinion than the Bundesliga finest, but it's still like overall, I don't know, busier than it should be. There's Enzo Silver. And then we also have Fabio Carvalho. All right, so doing not too shabby on the rookies for this first pack. And there's KDB, pushing you a speedy recovery. And uh, yeah, I'll actually let you guys look at the comparison with last year's set. And, you know, generally they basically kept the pull rates the same with, you know, minor differences across the board, but they did remove some and add some like parallels, but Overall, there is going to be one extra parallel this year, so I don't know. That doesn't really bode well with me, or sit well with me, but I was trying to reveal a face already, so I have of it. It is Gonzalo Ramos out of 299, 290 out of 299. So there's our first numbered card, and they are on the front. They typically do that with uh, finest sets. And we got a Refractor, Pellegrini, and just the base, Warren Zaire, Emery. And that takes us to, I guess, the print run that we mentioned earlier. I mean, they started with increasing the set size by 50, you know, so it went from like 100 to like 150, which in you know my books is like a big no-no. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, a really bad sign for the set, but... Zaire Emery color match. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's an auto. All right, out of 150. So hold on a second. This is really strange. So for some reason, these are actually like stamped on the card. And then these are kind of like, well, not stamped. I want to say these are like embossed on the card, the cereal. And then this is kind of like what they did in Merlin. They just kind of like stamped it on the front. But hey, blue color match. I wasn't expecting an auto at all. So... Definitely one of the rookies that we're gonna talk about here in a sec. Uh, I wanna see a few more of them before I uh, kinda get into it. But there's our, I don't think this is gonna count as one of our numbered cards. So far we only have one. And we got a really nice a rookie color match for PSG right there. But what, man, what was I saying? Yeah, so they increased the, the set size by 50, uh, which means you know that led to the entire set size increasing or sorry, the, the entire print run increasing by, 
Oh, look at that. CR7 in his throwback jersey. Look at how young he was. I wonder how they got this picture. I mean, I'm sure it's like somewhere online at this point, but I don't know if they had to get special rights for it. So our next numbered card is going to be Matisse Tell. Love to see. Actually, let me sleeve this one up. I don't think you're going to see many. Well, never mind. I take that back. I was going to say, I don't think you're going to see many of these, but I actually am pretty sure you, you will. So out of 275, this is uh, the sky blue refractor. So this one would go really, really nice with uh, none other than Man City, of course. But yeah, the print run increased by 20 to 25%. Uh, and you know compared to like last year's like I don't know about like 6,000 cases or something uh, this year's gonna have like About 7,500 I want to say so Okay, look at that people in Zagi. I've seen some nice like parallels in these so this is actually one of the cooler Inserts in my opinion a brace to seal the 2006-07 UCL final and uh yeah, if you're not familiar with the players, uh, you're gonna have to flip it to the back to see uh, <laughs> who that player is. So I don't know if that's like entirely a good thing, but there's Thomas Muller. And last pack for the first box, which probably is a good time to talk about rookies now. Hopefully we get to see, okay, so that's another higher, high-ish numbered card that we're getting. Greener, so we got three in these and there's a Griezmann regular prize footballers. Of course, the fusion is gonna be like the case hit that we were talking about earlier, but there is Manuel Neuer out of 99. So pretty interesting that they added Lava and Finest. I don't know if they've, they've done that before, actually, not that I can remember. But uh, yeah, the rookies that you're looking for uh, is gonna be obviously, you know, the usual suspects. And we start off with Garnacho from Menu. He's gonna be in the extended set. And then of course we have, uh, let me get into the second box while we, talk about this uh alvarez of course enzo uh rooney bardogji colo moani as well uh and then mudrick as much as i i don't know personally i don't want to include him but the market is uh, speaking otherwise and uh ekitike is our emory like we saw earlier and uh due who is also in the extended set so typically those are going to be like the players from europa league that they just have them in so like man U and like arsenal and like all those clubs but all right, box number two. Is this auto going to be numbered as well? Uh, from what I've seen, I think it's like one base and then one numbered, but you know, anything can happen. I don't really follow that pattern. There's Mukoko and Finest Rookies, Shield Drop. Uh, I'm going to put him with the inserts over here and then Tamori. But yeah, the auto checklist is actually above average. Uh, you know, like if you take away the, there's like the last two subsets in the checklist that are like basically only good players. So I kind of didn't want to count that, but it does contribute to obviously the selling point for the product. Uh, without it, it's like around like 45 to like 50%. So I was thinking this might've been the auto. So I was kind of slow rolling it, but there's a Morata out of 150. Uh, yeah, so with those guys, it's sitting between like 45 to 50 percent, uh, or sorry, without those guys, and then with the like the man autos and like the other like nice rare insert autos, it takes it up to like 60 percent, but still, I'd say between 45 to 50 percent good auto ratio, and they're getting two autos per box, so it's definitely like more in your favor. Oh, Jermaine Defoe, what do you know? So it is a base, so we kind of are like right about what we we're talking about earlier, but I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know if we have enough sample size to kind of make that uh, uh, conclusion, but hey, look at this. Wow, I don't think I've actually ever seen this guy in like a Tottenham jersey. I've seen him like in his Sunderland days. He's actually really, really good when he played for them. And then, yeah, wow, Jermaine Defoe, what do you know? Let's actually, that's the wrong top loader. So I just tried to put it in a 35-point uh, top loader, and it uh, like immediately gave me some resistance. So... I'm glad that I'm kind of used to that feeling. So let's put him next to Zaire Emery. And then let's actually see how many more numbered cards we're gonna get. And I think, I'm pretty sure the imbalance thing between mini boxes is gonna be correct. Hopefully not, cause you know, I'd rather get more numbered cards, but I've seen a lot of boxes that were actually imbalanced in terms of uh, 
numbered cards, but there's Tomori out of 250. This is going to be the uh, Vaporwave, the Aqua and Blue Vaporwave. So it has like these lines here. So just another kind of one of those top's finest things. These do look really, really clean though. I actually, I want to take a look at one of these. So these are unfortunately not, not like the best quality chrome for like the base. So it's not like Merlin base or like Topps chrome base, but more comparable to like Panini Prism. So you'll see that in the set rating at the end of the video as well. So just a little bit off. Okay, so we did end up getting a lot of numbered cards. So I wanna say maybe there's like some boxes that are pretty unlucky. So there's a Benjamin Sheshko on the green speckle. I don't know if it's like called something else. I, I flipped it because I actually forgot where the numbers were. You can really, really like, I'm struggling to see this number. It's out of, it's out of 125. So what is this? I don't think we're gonna get any more numbered cards, but hopefully there's some case it hanging out in here. You never know. And I mean, I don't know, we could get a grail, but at this point, I, yeah. I mean, look at this, we already showed all the cards. Uh, the grails are gonna be like, uh, well, the grail for like Holland is gonna be one in every, of course we end with a Messi, we'll have to see it. Uh, those are gonna be one in every like 75 cases, I wanna say, from at least like what I saw on the, uh, the odds sheet that we finally got. But yeah, let's do a quick recap before we get into the uh, verdict and like rating for this set. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I wanna say this is actually like more normal than maybe other like unfortunate boxes, but yeah, I don't know. It could go either way, guys. So we got, we got a lot of nice numbered cards. So we got six here and then plus two, like eight hits total. So honestly, I'm really glad actually we got to see this Jermaine Defoe because I, I think I saw it in the checklist, but I didn't really focus on the team. So this is nice, nice <laughs> old throwback Spurs jersey. But of course our hit of the master box is gonna be this Zara Amri color match a rookie numbered autograph. So what do we think about this set? Um, we'll put up on the screen while we talk about it, like we usually do. And the first thing you'll probably ask is, is it actually that high? And to that I say, I mean, the numbers numbers don't lie. Uh, obviously the launch price and hits per box are like really, really helping this set out and like the rating. But the design is holding it back in my opinion. It's, it's honestly better than, I don't wanna say like much better than like Bundesliga Finest, but it is better than Finest, uh, the design that is. And another thing that's holding it back is the set size increase. You know, that's honestly a big, big negative in, in, in my book, you know, which does contribute to like why the set value is like lower than usual, like the overall value of the set. And the increased print run is typically met with bad news for like long-term value as well and finest in general like isn't as successful as like other sets uh in the long run unless there's like a very specific rookie or like special uh card in that specific set that provides like an extra boost but yeah obviously getting two autos is nice so that's definitely like one of the biggest selling points for sure for finest so yeah i don't know uh that's gonna be what like most people are gonna be after uh besides the case hits because those are also pretty cool we didn't see any of those here but yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful uh, thanks for watching. Stick around for more content breaks and uh, giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.